Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this full face tutorial using Makeup Obsession. Yes! I was meant to do this again a while ago along with the Full Face of Revolution products, but I just didn't have chance. Again, there's other things I wanted to film, that kind of thing. But we're here now, we're filming this look and I'm excited. I'm excited. If you don't know who Makeup Obsession is, they are a sister brand to Revolution. They came out a couple of years ago and then they started off in boots and then they reformulated a lot of their products and rebranded that kind of thing and now they are my favourite brand from the drugstore. Honestly, they actually are. I own a lot of their products and I just love them. I love them. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this a look then just keep on watching. Okay, so I just did this eye off camera and now I'm obviously going to do this eye, obviously, I've just primed it using uh, the ABH eye primer as always. If you're new, that is my favourite eye primer. If you're not new, then you'll know now. Uh, so I'm going to firstly dip into the Rady Daydream palette, which looks like this. She is so pretty. Like, I'm first going to take the shade, uh, this shade here called Vermilion, I think it's called. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I am so sorry, but it's like a deepish kind of red. And I'm just going to pop that like on the outer part of the lid. This shade looks a lot brighter on the eye than when it does in the pan. I'm firstly just packing this shade on, just not worrying about blending it because we're going to blend it out. I'm quite happy with how that's looking right now. So then I'm going to go into the shade Hitchhiker, which is this like orangey shade. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but nothing you can't really tell once it's like on the eye too much. Um, I know they say don't put shimmers like in the crease, but this isn't like really shimmery. It's just like a little hint of shimmer. Like you can barely see it um, when you blend it out with the other shades, that kind of thing. I am telling you guys, it is windy today. It's windy. I'm gonna start to like blend it just above the red shade. Then I'm going to go into the shade Yellow Rose, which is the shade in mine that is broken and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner, but then also blend it above the, then I also I blend it above the orange and the red a little bit. I'm going to pack it on first and then I'll blend it out. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush but like a smaller kind of brush and take the same shade and then just blend it. Now that I am happy with how this eye is looking I'm going to go ahead just cut my crease quickly off camera and then we'll be back to do the lid shades. Okay so I literally just cut my crease and then I used the orange and the red shade that we used to blend into the edge of the cut crease then it doesn't look too sharp. Now I'm going to go into the Rady Dusk palette, this is a popular palette that she brought out, this is meant to be like the more neutral one but it's a twist of a neutral palette I would say. It's really cute, it's got some really nice shimmers in here. So I'm going to take the shade Grace, sorry, I'm going to take the shade Grace which is this shade here. It looks greeny but then when you apply it to the lid it can like look more gold so I think it's like an I would say it's like an antique gold shade which is obviously like a gold with a little bit of green in it but it is stunning I 
I love Rayleigh's palettes. I think they're amazing. Especially because they're only £10 each and the shades that you get in them, like this one and her other one, like they're just so unique. Like, especially this one. I just love it. Oh. I don't really, I usually use the Daydream palette more, I'm not gonna lie, but together I think you can create some really cute looks with either of them or both of them together. It's incredible. Then for the like very inner part of it, I'm gonna take the shade Angel, which is like this whitey, gorgeous highlighter colour. It's stunning. I wouldn't say it like shifts like yellow or like pink or anything. I think it's just like a plain white icy kind of shimmer shade. So pretty, love it. So I'm quite happy with how like this is looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on some mascara and lashes off camera because obviously I don't have any well makeup position they don't have lashes and I don't have them. I think they do have a mascara, but I don't have the mascara. So I'm just gonna quickly do that off camera and then we'll be back to do the face. Okay, so I've just done my lashes off camera. So now let's move on to skin. I've got obviously I've got a couple of primers from them, but I'm obviously just gonna use one. So for primer, I'm gonna be using the Pore Perfection Putty Primer. I've used this a couple of times, I think, on my channel. Um, maybe just once. I can't really remember actually. Um <laughs> But I have used this quite a few times and I actually really like it. Um, the first time I used it, I applied way too much. Um, but now I kind of know how much I'm applying. It's meant to be similar to, I think it's meant to be like a dupe, like the Tatcha one or something. I haven't tried anything from Tatcha. I think it's a bit expensive and I don't know if you can get it in the UK. So yeah, but I do really like this primer. It does help to fill in like your pores, it helps to minimise the appearance of your pores and it helps to minimise the appearance of like your fine lines. This is also similar to the e.l.f. one I believe, because e.l.f. have one out and yeah, I'm just going to blend in with my fingers. For foundation, Makeup Obsession came out with a new foundation this year. I've literally been waiting for a foundation from them for ages. Like when they released their concealers last year, I was like, where's the foundation? Because I want one. And um, so this year they came out with like a stick foundation, which looks like this. I have used this once or twice, but not properly. So yeah, look, just apply some of this. I can't remember if I like this foundation. I feel like I did, but I just feel like it's not full coverage. I also don't think that this is the right shade for me, which is fine. Because I can make it work. Or I think it might have, I think it actually was the right shade for me. I can't remember. We'll blend in, we'll see. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender because this is what I love to use. I don't know if it's better to like blend it out with a beauty blender. I think I used a brush last time. I'm not too sure. But I do remember that this wasn't the most full coverage foundation, to be honest, which is fine. If you don't like full coverage, if you just like, like a light, light to medium coverage, like you might like this but if, as you can see it's just very light coverage so let me apply some more I don't know whether to use a brush I, don't know. I can't remember what I did in my video I can't remember if I used a brush or or if I used a sponge I think I might have used both I'm 
may it just work with a brush. It's a nice foundation, but it's just not something that I would reach for every day. I think it's just because it's not full coverage that I wouldn't. Now for concealer, Makeup Session just have one concealer out. They have the Mega Concealer. I've got mine in the shade 02. I love this concealer. They released last year. It's definitely um, not a full coverage concealer, which is fine. It's definitely got coverage there. I would say like it's more like a medium coverage. Um, still amazing. I do love it. Love it quite a bit. This also contains caffeine, which is good for like your under eyes. I think it's good for like keeping them hydrated maybe or something. I feel like you can see that the foundation isn't the right shade for me because it's more like a yellowy undertone whereas in my I am more pink so when I'm using the concealer the concealer's got a bit more of a pinky undertone which is what I am I'm just gonna go ahead do my powder off camera because like I said I don't know where my powder is from makeup obsession I feel like I've just I feel like I might have lost uh, I feel like I might have left it at my boyfriend's house when we moved so I'm not too sure I actually don't know but I did like that powder that I had so I'm just gonna go ahead do my powder off camera and then we're back to do obviously bronzer blush highlighter and the lips okay so I've literally just done obviously my powder off camera and then I also did my lower lash line I literally just used the orange and the yellow underneath and then put a little bit more of the white shade on the inner corner so yeah now for brows I have got the makeup obsession brow goals pencil um I, i've actually forgot i had this i didn't even realize that um i had it still i thought i lost it but yeah this is like it's like this kind of style it's got like almost like a the abh like brow definer kind of one um so yeah I'm just push i haven't used this in a while and um, i thought i would use it since i found it um Okay, so now moving on to your bronzer. I have this palette here, which is called the Feels Palette. This is like the face, like highline contour palette. So it looks like this. I'm not too sure how much it is. I think it could be like eight pound, something like that. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna take the shade Bay, which is this top shade here, and we're just gonna brow this. We're just gonna brow this. A really nice shade. I do really like this palette. I think it's stunning. They've obviously only got like three like bronzer slash contour shades in this palette. Um and I wouldn't say that they're for everybody because I don't feel like if you are like quite if you've got quite a dark skin tone, I don't think it's gonna work for you. Because the, the darker shade isn't that dark, it's just like a little bit dark. So yeah. For blush, I have the Isn't It Peachy blush palette. I wish Makeup Obsession would come out with more blush palettes. I wish they'd come out with a blush palette in like this size, but at the moment they only have like two, two or three blush palettes in this size so they have like four blushes in each this one's really pretty it's got some gorgeous shades in it uh, i'm gonna take a mixture i'm gonna take the shade daydream and bloom and like mix them together that's what i usually do i usually like mix my blusher shades together with this palette Oh 
Honestly, I'm surprised I've not hit pan on any of these blush shades yet because I literally use them so often. So I have this one. I then have the pinky one. I did have like a mauve one, but I did put that in a giveaway just because I felt like it was a bit too deep for me. highlighter i'm not too sure what to use i've got these two single highlighters i've got mega honey and mega lightning i then have the ready like a double sided highlighter palette so there is there is this side which is so flipping cute and then there is this side which is also so flipping cute i think i'm going to use this palette i think i want to I think I'm gonna take the shade My Sunshine, which is this shade here. It is stunning, gorgeous. Obviously these two shades are way too dark for me. I could use these as blush toppers as well. I might try that actually. Should I, should I try it? Stop it, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna take the shade Midsummer's Day and I'm just gonna like, just gently apply that on top of the blush that I've got on now. Let's see how this looks. It's nice because it's just giving a bit of a sheen it's not looking too crazy it's just giving like a subtle kind of glow which is what i like and then i'm obviously going to go in with the shade my sunshine and apply that to everywhere else i like to spray my face first just before i apply highlighter i just feel like it goes on so much better and also it helps the rest of the powders to kind of like settle in Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna use one of the Belle Jordan like liquid lipsticks. This came in a set, so it came with two liquid lipsticks, which are like this, and then a lip gloss like this. As you can see, I have used and abused these liquid lipsticks. They are my favorites. Well, one of my favorites. I love them so much. So I'm gonna take the shade Ever After because I just feel like this is gonna work better with this look. Honestly and truly, I wish that Makeup Obsession would, would come out with more liquid lipsticks in this formula because this is just crazy, so gorgeous, feels so comfortable on the lips, mine's still drying down. I'm then going to take the lip gloss from the Bella Jordan lip kit, this is in the shade Ditsy and I'm going to apply it on top of the liquid lipstick because I just want a bit more of a glossy kind of nude today. to complete this look we have the so dope makeup fixing spray so i'm going to use this i've only used this once i don't know why i just have so yeah we're going to use it again i literally just got a bit in my mouth literally i don't know whether i applied too much hopefully not just fan this away When you don't have an actual fan, so you just use a palette. It is what it is. 
So guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I'm kind of living. I'm kind of living. I, I don't know why, I just am. I'm just living. Um, I know this has taken me such a long time to film. Same as with the full face of Revolution products, that took me so long to film, but now I've done it. I've done it and it's here and I'm living. So there's some products that I have rediscovered in this full face um, to be honest with you like the brow product I rediscovered that and I actually really do like it it did the job it worked really well so I'm happy with that obviously there's a couple of faves in here already from me and one of them is the eyeshadow palettes these are my favorite um this one especially is it is a holy grail for me I would say I do really love it the shades in here are gorgeous if you don't have this palette and you're looking for a Bright, colourful, cheap eyeshadow palette. This is one to definitely grab because the shades in here are stunning. But I do love both of the palettes, obviously. Um, what else was there? The foundation I kind of tried out again. I would say that's more of like a second or third impression of it. Um, I do like it, it's just not my favourite. So let me know if you like the look. I love it. I love every single look pretty much. I'm sorry, I bet you guys are bored. If you did like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. I'm thinking of doing a full phase of high-end makeup, so if you want to see that, leave a little comment down below. As always, I will leave my social media handles up above and also in the description box down below, so you can go and check me out there if you want to. And yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!